Hi, in today's video, we're going to see how we can revert an FBX motion which we downloaded from the internet to a T pose using Maya 2018. Hi, so we have a question and it is how do you zero out the skeleton animations in an FBX or the skeleton mo the skeletal motions in a F in an FBX so that you can get a T pose? Okay, so here I have a scene set up with a uh, a short kind of storytelling with a camera and a character actually in, in the scene first of all the camera is not involved and in the middle it becomes fully involved with the character and at the end it's not involved in, with the character i mean you're going to see that and this is an fbx file which i got from mixamo and i'm going to show you how to zero this file out into a t-pose in case you want to use the animation or in case you want to bind this motion to another character let me play this short uh set up so you can see it okay okay so now we've seen this let me turn this off now we've seen this uh how do we get the how do we get the motion i mean how do we get this fbx back into t pose because you notice if i bring it back to zero it is not in t pose let me actually switch my workspace back to uh modeling standard okay or uh, actually i think i should switch it directly back to my classic okay so how do i get this back to the t pose uh, i'll have to switch my uh, camera back as well and let's let's get that done so one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on and I'm actually going to show my joints. Let me hide this camera. Let me actually put this camera somewhere here. Okay. Then I'm going to select the skeletons. How I can select the skeleton is I'll click on, I'll, I'll turn off the geometry so I don't, uh, I don't select any geometry. I don't know what noise is happening in the background. And I'm also going to select, I'm going to turn on the joints. I'll select the joints and I'll move back about two frames back backwards. I'm moving two frames backwards. Yeah. Now, now I've moved these frames backwards. What I have to do is I'll come over to my attribute editor. Then I'll start zeroing out every single joint. So now I've zeroed this out. Let me actually turn auto key uh, frame on and I'm going to tap S. Now the next thing I'm going to do is for this other one. Okay. And the same thing, I'll actually repeat the same task for every single bone. So now we have this, uh, what, I, what we would have to do is we can come over to rotate and set key or you can just simply uh, key every single thing by just tapping S, which is going to key the translate, the rotate and the skill. Okay, so once you have that, you see your character starts in a T pose now and it moves to this. It starts in a T pose and it moves to this. So how do we uh, confirm this? I mean, if I uh, turn off my joints now and I bring back my previous camera and I decide to look through the camera, you find out that when I move back to this, our character is in T pose. So let's play this one more time. Let me turn this off. And you see it's, he's going to stay in T pose anytime our animation starts. Okay, so that is how you can get your character to be in T pose or any FBX file which you get from the internet. That is how you get them to be in T pose. Cheers.